Okay, so here we are at a new location. Yeah. Um, there's been a bottle dump here, but it's not been recently dug. So we're going to have to do a bit of uh, scavenging around in yeah. the undergrowth. I think it was dug a few years ago, but a little, a few years ago. there's yeah. lots of pottery and things you can see on the surface already. Yeah. So we just know there's going to be at least something here to find. Yeah. So we'll see you on the first time. <laughs> There's definitely lots of glass here, but it's that time of year and the leaves are starting to fall. But under this tree, I can see a glass bottle stop. And it has something written on it. Oh. Oh, I can't see. Can't see through the lens camera. But yes, words. Words are always good. Okay, double whammy here, I think. Because look, Mum's just found something behind me. Clay pipe. Clay pipe ball. Just lying there. But look, a little bit further under the foliage, there's another one <laughs> right next to it. But they're just plain late 19th, early 20th century looking pipes, really, since they haven't got a heel. Let's see what else there is. There seems to be a lot here. But it's a bit tricky to see because the leaves are starting to fall off the trees. Oh, what's this? Oh, it looks like a bottle. Is it whole? Is it whole? Oh. Oh, it is whole. Look, it says London. It's a long way from London. Oh. S, uh, no, C and S Bracknell. London and it's um it's a burst lip I quite like that it's all bubbly great oh my gosh what is this <laughs> just sitting there looking at me oh look at look at that oh it's broken at the front but its head still all right it's one that it must have had hair oh look at its face it's soil in its eye sockets oh wow i really like it it's got little ears and the front's missing but that's okay fantastic oh i'm starting to love this site now already Mum's found some. Found. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh no! What a shame! It's broken on the front. I know, but the face is still there. Oh yeah. Look the head is still whole. Oh. Look, it had hair. Oh, it had hair. It's got something on the back there as well. Oh, it's got little lips and eyebrows and everything. How cute! I love oh, it. Bottle. I've just found a bit of ginger beer bottle that oh. says. Uh, Richard Hodgson. See that? Oh yeah. You can look that up. Double stout, I imagine. Shame it's only partial. There's lots of fragments of pottery and things. Oh, oh down here. Amongst these leaves and so I decided to give them a bit of a scrape and I found. And yeah, what's this here then? We definitely have lots of lugs on our adventures. We find lots of lugs. And um, a hand as well. Yes, I found this hand when I was scratching. Looks like a hand. Maybe leaning on like a fence. Like there's some grapes there. That's interesting. Okay, well, there's lots of things. Pottery. Ow! Nettles. Stinging nettles. Hiding under this undergrowth. Oh, there's a lovely piece of glass. Orange glass. Ooh, that'll be very nice for beads. I also found <laughs> this pipe <laughs> further up there. It's just another plain healer's one. And another piece of glass, I also found that. But yeah, I can see lots 
but it requires some scraping because there everything seems to be hidden under leaves at this time of year. Oh, that's a bit of sponge wear. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Lovely glass, like pale blue for beads. That's going to be amazing. Looky. Stopple bopper. Carl. TS, I think. T and something. Lovely. You can't go wrong with a vulcanite stopple bopper. Though it is a bit broken. Okay, people have been asking the signs of what to look for when you're looking for an old bottle dump or whatever. And this is a dead giveaway. This is... It's old ash. Old fire ash. You can see the cinders. That's a dead giveaway for a dump. Okay, just found this big piece of glass off a big bottle. And it's got something on it. J. Bouch. Black Bull Hotel, Carlisle. That's in Cumbria. So I might take that so I can look that up. Black Bull Hotel. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I was just having a bit of a scrape round here and I spotted something down here. And it's round. Terracotta. <gasps> oh, it's one of those we found before. Now, I think Richard Henry said to someone else who finds has found one of these that they are the stoppers out of big chemical jars. I think this must be about the third one of these we've found. Interesting though, I like them, I'm going to keep it. It's worth looking on the path actually. See any beads. <laughs> First it bottle. How cute. It's not got anything on it. But still a lovely find. Love little bottles. Yeah, I see something down here. And it looks like another glass stopple bopper. So Oh, there's a slug. <laughs> there's a slug in the palm of my hand. Sorry, Mr. Slug. Oh my gosh, what's that? What? What's that? Look, oh, no, wait, look. It's an arm. An arm? It's an arm, oh my gosh, oh, look, no, look, really. look, look. Oh, the camera's not focusing there, there, what look. It? It's a little tiny arm. Okay, sorry, the camera wasn't focusing. But look, I think it's an arm, I think, yeah, it's a little porcelain. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh yes, look, it's got little fingers. Oh, it is a little arm. What is it? It's a little arm. Oh, I'm really happy now. See, good thing I spotted that stopple bobber, otherwise I never would have seen that little arm. It's exciting because we never find arms, so <laughs> it's a good find for us. After this scrape because everything's buried. Oh, that is another embossed stopple bopper. It's much like the one I found before. What's that say? H O L B R O. Holbro and Co. Oh, I've never found anything like that before. I didn't recognise it. I definitely think this place is somewhere to come back to when Mother Nature has done her thing and the worms and the fungus have composted 
few of these leaves so we can see the ground underneath. What's this I spy? Can you see it? Here. It's a cod marble. There's always a cod marble. That's quite a nice one actually. Bits of old glass. Pottery. What's this? Oh, it's an ear. It's a doll's ear. It's funny, I always seem to find an ear. I'm not sure which way it goes up, that way. Oh yeah, that, I think the eye was there. Well, might be able to do something with it. Oh wait. <laughs> I just turned the camera off when I spotted this. And it's whole... Oh, it's quite long. It's got like a long bit on the end. I just love bottle stoppers. Because it's got a big bubble in it. Oh, it's got, it's got a big bubble in it. Look at that. Let's see. Big bubble in the top. Oh cool, I like that. Spotted something here. Don't know what it is, but... What is that? Oh! Oh! Actually... I think it's half a bathtub. Frozen Charlottes used to have bathtubs. Oh no, I wish it was whole. A whole frozen Charlotte bathtub. It's got some writing on it. I think it's got something. It's a number or something on the bottom. I'm sure that's what it is. Just turn on the camera in case it has anything on it. No. Another blank one, unfortunately. But it would make a great mushroom cap. All I need now is some. All I need now is some stems. It's not what I think it is. I just found what it is. Oh my gosh! It is. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's another hand. It's another arm. It's another arm. Alex found something. What have you found? Another arm. Another arm. Well, that's not fair. I haven't found an arm. I found a head though. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, look. Oh wow. Oh, I just need another one now. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. Okay, I was just going to pick this white thing up here when I spotted one of my favorite things. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> look. It's an alley gob, or a five stone, or a knuckle bone. Wow, we find quite a few of these now. I love it. Hang on, zoom in. It's in good condition. Oh, I love it. I love gaming pieces. I said in our question and answer that I'd love to find a chess piece, but I still love finding these. I think Alex has found something really exciting over there. She's going mad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can't see it from here, but I was just, I was just scraping all these leaves and <gasps> now I've stood up. I'm sure it is what it is. I thought it was a, like a little toadstool or something because it's, it's fungus. And I'm like, oh, <gasps> wait, guys, it's whole. Oh my gosh, there's a nine on it. Oh, it's a hole where the hair would have been. Oh my gosh, because the face. Oh. No. Look, it's whole. It's whole. It's whole. It's Look 
that doesn't it. mine. It's not fair. Look! It won't focus. But <laughs> you, you would think a bottle, the diggers would have taken a whole doll. They must have, like, maybe they chucked it out and not realised. Well, they don't see everything. Oh, it's pretty yeah. creepy looking. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It's face. Look at it. It kind of does with the mud on it, but. I can't focus. Oh, so that'll well. wash up so nice. Oh my. Oh my gosh, I'm so. We've not found a whole doll quite as. A doll in such good condition. I found a whole one ages ago, remember? Oh. But that one's bigger. I can't even see any like chips or anything. Oh, that's so cool. It's got like a line on its nose. It's not cracked, is it? I don't think so. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> that is definitely... I can't make it out. It's a Look! What have you found? Look, it's a five stone. It's a... Oh, I just found one of those. Yes. Just up there, but you found the doll's head, so I didn't. I oh it put me off telling you. Yes, we found one. We found a blue one like this before, but it had like a big chip out the side. Hold it up. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is turning out to be such a good day. Or ten stones. I don't know how many we've got we've loads done. now oh my gosh i can't i can't let go of this head i'm like <laughs> clinging on to it as i'm digging as well look vulcanite stopple bopper buried half buried carlisle <laughs> didn't you just found a carlisle one i know i'm not sure what that says they're more uncommon these sort of rectangular like ones. It has a name on there. Cool. Okay so I just found another pipe bowl and it's plain again. Just a plain pipe bowl. It's another mushroom I think. Okay I just scraped the leaves back and I saw something can you see it? I know what it is. It's a domino. Well, the top half of the domino. Has it got a two on it? No, it's a one, I think. Oh. I thought it was a two at first, but I think it's just a one. And it's just the top bit. It hasn't got the wooden bit on the bottom. But I love finding these. It's a bit bent. And cracked. But aren't we all? All sorts of bits. Pottery. Oh, 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 what's the what's this? Oh my Oh my goodness! It's a button! Oh wow, look at that! It's one of those um, morning buttons. Oh, wait. Yep, it's glass. Oh, look how sparkly it is. Can you see that? Oh, that'll clean up nice. I don't think it's chipped or anything. Is the back broken off? Has it got something written on it? Oh, it has. It's got words. Oh my gosh, that's even better. Can't quite make it out. I have to wait till I get home. Can't wait. I'm getting quite a collection of these morning type things. Victorian morning buttons and jewellery. Okay, I just turned the camera off and I found this. Another one. I can't believe it. Let me zoom in. Look, it's another one. It's not a button though. Look, it's a, it's like a two-hold bead. 
Wow. What are the chances? I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think it's got writing on it. Bottleneck. What's this? Oh, what is this? <laughs> I just picked this up. Oh no, it's a it's a stopper. Only the it's broken off. Oh, I love it though, <laughs> look. Oh. Looks like it's got water in it. It has. How did water get in? Oh, it might be coming out of the bottom. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, it's a shame it's broken. I know. Aww. I'm still keeping it there. What's this I just scraped up? It's a coin. It's not modern. I don't want to scrape it. I'm going to wait till I get home. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I get home because it looks quite old. Just found another. Oh, oh, it's got a harp on it. It's an Irish, an Irish pipe bowl. It's got a, oh, what's that? What is that? I thought it was just another plain pipe bowl. It's got something else on it. On. Oh. It's like a stalk with lots of shamrocks on it. I've not seen one like this before. Oh, that's interesting. Look, it's so pretty. And the harp. Oh, that's a surprise. Fantastic. Okay, I was just scraping away here, and what did I find? It's a bead! It's a bead. I think Mum's just found a bead. I think it's one of those Padre beads. Oh, oh wait. It's blue. Oh, I love it. I love these. It looks like the ones we were making. It's really weird. Great. I want to find some more. I just spotted something hiding here. And it, I don't know if it's what I think it might be. But it looks like a pipe bowl. Is it whole? No. It's not whole. What's this? Oh, it's broken. Oh, but look, another pipe bowl. <laughs> Found quite a few, another plain one, I think. 
Yeah, I think it's plain. But it's a pipe bowl. Wow, look at this. I just scraped and yeah, look. Oh, wow, look. What is it? Look. Terracotta clay pipe. Ooh. Wow, this would have been really rare. Oh, look, it has a ball. Wow, you don't see many of those. Oh, it was probably a little football. Kind of reminds me of like a basketball though, but it's probably an old style football. Whoa, that would have been a very, a rare and collectible pipe if that was whole. Oh my gosh, what a shame. Right, that's definitely on our bucket list, a, um, a terracotta clay pipe. <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, look, 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 look. There. Do you see it? Yes, it's another little morning button. Look at that. And Mum's just found a coin, I can hear. That's exciting. Oh my gosh, this is really lovely though. I'm trying to get the... Have a look at the detail on there. It's a funky pattern. And that's so weird because Mum's just found a bead and a morning button as well. <laughs> How crazy. It's been a lot of people in mourning around here back in, back in the Victorian times. I love these buttons. We've got a beautiful collection now. Look at that. I think it's whole. So I was finding all sorts of bits of broken bottle under here. And oh wow. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a little burst lip aqua bottle and it looks the contrast with the, the yellow leaves. Wow, that's such a pretty colour. Oh, that's beautiful. Now that's going to go very nicely in our little bottle collection. This it's just a bottle base. It's quite interesting because it says glass made in France. Never seen that before. Ah, oh, would have been a, a beer flask. You can tell by that shape of it. It. That's interesting. I wonder why it was made in France with so many glass works in Britain in that time. Interesting. And here we have Aunt Alexandra in her natural environment. And I'm not going to move too suddenly because I don't want to startle her. found another one. <laughs> it's another gobby, alley gob, five stone, knuckle bone. <laughs> Look at the imprint it's left. We got? found another one. Oh my gosh, another one? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, well that's, that's like we've got three in just one day. That's I know. crazy. That's crazy. It's getting dark, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> My face is really stinging with the nettle sting. But uh, I found a cork um, burst it bottle. They're very common, but oh, I can't help but take them. My poor lip is very, very sore right now. There's still so much undergrowth. <laughs> But I feel like we've had a very lucky day. Oh, that's broken. Well, I'm going to crawl out from underneath this hedge now. Another stopple bopper. It's very dark. I'll put it right in my bag. I haven't got long left now. I think we're going to have to go. 
okay, well, we can't go anymore because, well, it's dark and it's raining as it's pouring down, but I just found this bead. Beautiful little blue bead. It looks like it's a bit cracked though. And I also found this button, which I think might be mother of pearl or bone. I can't tell quite yet. But yep, they're the last finds of the day. We've found a lot today. It's been a good day. It's another nice bit of um, blue glass here to make beads with. Oh my gosh, look! Oh, Just on my. the path on the way back. Gosh! Look. It's a leg! Look how tiny it is. We haven't got on that tiny. It's tiny. I found two arms and a leg and a head. Oh my gosh, it's been a very good day. We need one more leg. We need <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just lying on this, le on this path. I saw all this pottery and stuff. Just lying here. There's other things. Like what was it? What's this sticking up here? Get it up. What is it? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's big. What is it? Oh my gosh, is it a doll? What is it? I don't know. Oh, wow. oh, <laughs> what is it? It's a bit a tree by the looks of it. Okay, that's random. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tiny bit sticking up. Can't dig the path up. I know. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> We've had an amazing day I today. I know, I didn't think we'd find this much. Oh, it's been a shock. We found so many bottle stoppers as well. Yeah, and um, yeah. Just amazing and, things, and and all the doll and the doll head that we're there, and oh, a leg and arms, arms, and then you found those beautiful. I found a head, and then you found a head. Mum found those beautiful buttons, and then I found a little button, and, and then clay pipe bowls. Oh yes, clay, we found so much. <laughs> oh, well, and, and we better go home and clean them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we were thinking we need a new name or a name because there isn't a name for um searching bottle dumps not digging in bottle dumps but, but scratching the surface yeah I looking around the it surface before, actually when i was oh digging. right okay well so I we thought, want to yeah come up with a new term for scratching around on the top of old bottle dumps so searching on tidal rivers is mudlarking and bottle digging is Bottle, bottle digging. digging and beach combing is beach combing, yeah. but what is scraping around just on the surface? Yeah, what's, what's just scavenging? And there's a northeastern word called ratching, that's a northern word, and it means to rummage around, um, scrape around, rummage around, search for things. So ratch, yeah. um, dump ratching, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, any ideas though, and um, we might, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, might but invent a new word or phrase for scraping around on the surface um, of the ground, just on old bottle dump sites. So if you have a suggestion of what we should call this new thing... That's not a new thing. <laughs> no, it's not a new thing, but what you should call this, um, yeah, this technique of searching, then yeah, leave it in the comments below. We'll yeah, make, we'll make a see. new word. We'll make up a new phrase or something. So, we've got to go home now because it's dark. And it's starting to rain. And it's raining. And we're hungry. Yeah. And so, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>
Victorian, turn of the century-ish dump. And um, it was a fun time, to say yeah. the least, because we found some, amazing things. We found some of our favourite things. And yeah, it was quite late and um, the filming might have not been amazing. Because and we, it also started to rain. And it started to rain, so we got a little bit carried away and I didn't take as much B-roll, but we still found some amazing things. Ears. Ears. These are porcelain doll head ears. For um, some reason, we seem to find a lot of ears. Yeah, ears are the most common thing. And little teeth and little nostrils of a porcelain doll head there. But yeah, we could cut these out. I think yeah. we I think we should cut these out and make ear necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a little hand on a fence, a little yeah. wooden fence. Um oh our pipes which we have a lot of, we find a lot of and these are all um 20th century looking pipes because 20th century pipes usually do not have a heel like this. So yeah. And yeah. um well very late 19th um, this one here is interesting because it has a harp and on the other side it has shamrock. Yeah. It's an Irish themed pipe which were very popular I think because there were a lot of Irish workers came over yeah, to Britain. Yeah, a lot of navvies. Um, yeah, they were skilled workers that, um, you know, and unskilled well, they, they helped build things like railways, uh, viaducts, and bridges. Canals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a, would have been a very rare and collectible pipe um, because this is a terracotta pipe bowl or a piece of one and it has a little football It probably there. had a foot on it as well, but... Look at that. Little yeah, I think you can, you can just see the tip of a foot on yeah. the end of that football <laughs> where the, a foot would have been kicking it but yeah if that had been a whole pipe bowl that would have been a bucket list fine yeah definitely wouldn't it a pipe. Wow. and these are the end pieces of a pipe this one says the workman and we found those before and they were they had a short stem um so it wouldn't get in the way you know when the men were working and this must be the thinnest yeah one of the thinnest pipe stems we've found it's crazy i had to i had to take it's it because it's just so thin Literally, Must be a quite a lot older that one. I don't know. It might have just been one of those really long, like um, what are they called? Church warden. Warden pipes. Yeah. But they sort of went out of fashion, didn't they? And this one says Christie, and I've got some information about this. Um, Christie's Clay Pipe Factory was at sixteen to twenty, Craig and Stock Street, Glasgow, um, and William Christie was the owner of that and the following was written in 1891 the business was founded in 187 um sorry the business was founded in 1857 by mr william christie the pipe factory is to the front and consists of four flats fitted up with every appliance and for preparing molding and firing pipes steam power is used for driving the machinery and some 40 hands find employment in several departments. A large cupola or kiln constructed on the most approved plan forms one of the most striking features of the place and is equal to a turnout of 54,000 pipes per week. Wow. And um, over 400 patterns were made. 400 patterns, wow. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And when the factory closed in 1962, the contents were donated to the Huntley House Museum, and that is now the Museum of Edinburgh. So it'd be interesting to know if they're still there. We'd yeah. like to go and have a look when it when it opens again. I like how they say the most approved plan. Yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> most approved. <laughs> where they spoke. Um. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, con marbles, of course. I mean, we. I don't think we leave the house. <laughs> we don't come we do, back without We do not cotton. leave the house without coming back without a cod marble. Um, this is a halfpenny, um, and it ha Victoria is not on there, so it will it it it's probably um, Edward the Edward Seventh, Seventh? Or someone like that. It's very corroded. It's very corroded, but it is not. It's not Victoria's head. It would have been that way around. 
And the date would have been just down there, but you can't see it. For love nor money, I'm afraid. For love nor hate, niece. But yeah, look, you can kind of see a bloke's head on there, looking to the right. So yeah, it fits in with the theory that this is a turn of a century dump. Potteries and this It's another thing. one of those bungs we think, um, according to Richard Hemery, that it is the top of a big chemical jar or some sort of big storage jar. We've found them before. We have. We've got about four of them now. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do with them. Giant mushrooms. But um, thanks to Richard for... Um, actually, we'll link Richard's channel... Yeah, we will. Um, ...down below because he is a... Pottery, pottery genius yeah. um, in London, but um, there is a lot of crossover in finds that we find up here in the yeah, north, yeah. so he's very, very useful. Um, this is this, interesting. Yeah. It's um, Sir Richard Hodgson, and it would have said double stout on there, but we've also got this with his name on it. Carlisle Old Brewery. Sir Richard Hodgson... Hodgson Hodgson. <laughs> Hodgson and Co. Limited Carlisle. I, I didn't find out an awful lot about Sir him. Richard. Sir Richard. Carlisle Old Brewery um, was owned by Sir Richard Hodgson and Company Limited. And they were incorporated in 1879. But it was Atkinson and Son Brewery which opened in 1756. And it was re later rebuilt by Sir Richard Hodgson. Um, so, yeah, that's all I could find out. Um, but the buildings are still there. I think they're student accommodation now. Uh, what's it say? Is it Old Brewery? They, old he brewery. called it... It was called the Old Brewery. Because, look, there's more the of them. In the 19th century. See? Oh, there's got some, one, yeah. We've got Vulcanite Old Breweries here as well. So it was called the Old Brewery because the brewery before that was oh, no. um, an 18th century one. Oh, so it really was an old bre old brewery even back then. So it's an old, old brewery. <laughs> Other porcelain things that we have. This is weird. It looks like a tail. I think you it found this. It looks like this. a crocodile tail. Yeah, which is a bit strange. Um, bit A large serving plate, large serving platter. Um, a bit of cowrie shell, which isn't porcelain. <laughs> um, a cow's leg. <laughs> <laughs> um, a piece of tesserae, I think it is. Yeah. could be a piece of tesserae um, the knob of the top of, of a lid, maybe of a teapot lid but it's pretty isn't but it? but it's very pretty, I mean you could cut that down and then yeah. make it into, like put a bezel around it make it yeah. into a necklace and um, this interesting pottery, which I think that's a tree yeah, I think it's a tree whichever way you turn it but it is, is looks as if it was part of a teapot yeah, it does okay so, um, oh yes, exciting finds. This is, um, you recognised it straight away, didn't you? As, yeah, as it's a like frozen it. Charlotte bath. I would love, the, okay, this is on my bucket list, list to find a whole... Frozen Charlotte bath? Oh yes. My gosh. So we've got a frozen Charlotte body here. It's headless and I stuck a horse head on there with a bit of blue tack. Beautiful. Oh, horse baby. Yeah, and it would have sat in its little bath. <laughs> Some of the frozen charlottes are flat on the back because... That one isn't. That one isn't, no. Because they lay in a little bath. That's so cool. Yes, bucket list, future bucket list. This yeah. and a um, terracotta clay pipe bowl. Definitely. Bucket list. Bucket list items. Oh, uh, a little bone button. Very bad condition. I think it's been yeah. burnt. Yeah, it's a bit of misshapen. Um, and arms and legs. Oh my gosh! Look, so look how small they are. Look how teeny they are. And we've got an arm like this already, and we've got a leg like this already. So we've got enough um, limbs to make a little tiny doll. But I don't think we have a head small enough, do we? We'll have to see. We'll, yeah. have, to, we'll have to look at our collection. We'll have to find one. But they've both cleaned up really well. And I love this little leg. I'm definitely going to make some more little silver leg neck. Whoops. Oh, it's trying to leg. run away. <laughs> and this arm, which is a bit dodgy, it's got a bit of iron stain and we can't get off. It's not very defined, but yeah, it's no. an arm. <laughs> yeah, would have been a, on a little... Actually, we've got a little body 
like that. Oh yeah, we do. Little body we found in the field of dreams. Yeah, so three little limbs. And that takes us on to the heads. Oh, heads, look yes. Heads. Oh my gosh, look at these. <laughs> these are so cool. So mum first found this one, which sadly was broken, and it's got a bit of a lazy eye, I think, on this side. They painted it quite in the right place. But um, yeah, it is sadly broken on the front there, obviously. And it would have had hair. And it would have had hair. And then I found this one, which oh is amazing. My goodness. It cleaned up so well. It, it looks like it could have just come out of the mould. Look at that. It's got a number nine there, which I think might just be the number of the mould, the yeah, mould number. Yeah. Um, and yes, look at its amazing detail. Its hair holds a bit off centre. Yeah, as well. it is a little bit. It's <laughs> veering to the left slightly, but yeah, look at that. Wow. It's got its little ears. And it's really smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's like it's been used a lot. It's like played got, with a lot. It's got like this really like smooth feel to it. Maybe the little girl that owned it just played with it so much. Yeah. Till it wore down oh. with her little fingertips. But or maybe it was passed down. Yeah, maybe it was. Maybe it's an old doll. But I actually love that. That's an amazing find. Probably, I think it's probably my find of the day. Well, it is my find of the day, definitely. <laughs> and then we have these jets. French jet. French jet, black glass buttons. But that's a button. This is a piece of um, a bracelet. I think we found these before, haven't we? Yes, we've definitely found them before. Um, this is, look at this. That is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. I found one like this the other day, but this is, I love the leaves and things on it. I've I think it was made in Paris, and it's yeah. got the name Depose on the back, D and G. Yeah, it's French, obviously, um, and yeah, it has, like, I think it's a D and an O. Can you see that? A D and an O. Yeah, and Depose. Is it D-O or D-G? D -C oh, it might be D-C. Something like that. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, it was made in Paris in France, and it's Victorian, most likely. Because morning um, fashion kind of went out of fashion um, over the turn of the century. Yeah, after Queen uh, Victoria died. We got quite a, um, a collection of um, we do. morning buttons and jewellery now. Yeah, I found this tiny one with like little like foliage detail on there. Which is it's really lovely, lovely to collect. And this has, look, it has stars on it and then like half flowers. See that? Little daisies. Little stars. Yeah, this would have been part of a bracelet. It probably had um, black beads in between each one of those. So yeah, we're going to have to put all of our morning stuff together. Yeah. Have a little collection of it. And then we've got these. Which yeah. I love. Yeah. I love gaming love... pieces. I can't, we've never found more than two of these in one place. Never, no, never found more than one actually, sorry. Um, and we found three. It was three just different incredible. colours. Three different colours. I love the blue. Now we've got a collection over here. Whoop. Here we go. So we have a quite a big collection now, really, don't I we? I love them. I don't know what it is about them, but I really love them. Yeah, we've got another blue one, we've got our first brown one, and then we've got another white one. And these are knuckle bones. Um, or alley gobs or, or alley gobs. So they have lots of different names um, depending on where you go and who you ask in, in the UK yeah. but um, they are an ancient game apparently um, it's a Greek game so it's thousands of years old yeah, they would have originally been played with um, sheep's knuckle bones yeah and literally knuckle bones which is yeah. one of the reasons why they're called knuckle bones but uh, yeah beautiful little and things and of course a domino and it's a number one. We don't it's have in a pretty one. bad condition. Yeah, it's not in great condition. Um, again, we have some more over here. You've probably already seen these, but here are the whole ones. And it would have had a layer of ebony on the bottom. Yeah, this one's just the top bit. Yeah. It would have been riveted on with a brass pin. So, yeah, poor thing. <laughs> They're always nice to find, though. We still really want to find a dice or a chess piece. Would be yeah, so cool. Yeah. 
Um, Here's some uh, glass that we found. We're going to use some of it to make beads with. Yeah, bead glass. I took this thinking this would be something interesting to look up. J. Mm. Bausch, the Black Bull in Carlisle. But it's been extremely difficult to track <laughs> this person down. You, you'd think you just put it in the search engine and there he would be. But, oh, but no. I think I found him in Aspatria. Um, but he wasn't um, a wine and spirit merchant, but there was another reference to a Bausch as a wine and spirit merchant. Um, and there was a Black Bull Inn, so I don't, I'm not sure if it was the Black Bull Hotel. So yeah, I think uh, I need a, to do more a research. Aspatria is not far from, not far from Carlisle. Carlisle in um, the northwest of yeah. the UK, in a... So I think Cambria. it's the same person, but not 100% sure. It could have just been um, that he didn't he didn't have the hotel or the inn for very long. Or maybe he just supplied the, um, you know, the, the wines and liquors to that hotel and didn't actually have the hotel. Yeah, it was, we you searched <coughs> that for a long time and it was very yeah, difficult yeah. to find anything at all. But yeah, this would have been a part of some kind of alcohol flask. What do you think it would have had in it? Uh, whiskey. Whiskey? Maybe? Yeah. Um, the other interesting glass thing was this. Oh, a stopper, but with the end cracked off it. Oh, that's sad. And I think we're going to make a video about making Christmas decorations from our finds. Yeah. And this is a perfect candidate. That would make, yeah, all you've got to do is stick something on there and it would be a little tree decoration. Yeah. But yeah, we found a a bit of a bauble on our very first mudlock with Tom Burley. Yeah, yeah. And we said it would make a great Christmas tree decoration. So we we'll use that. And we're thinking of using some little bottles. Yeah. Christmas um, tree decoration bottles. <laughs> so, yeah. Keep an eye out for that video. In December sometime. Um, well, since we're here, <laughs> we've got bottles. Um, Probably just medicine bottles, little burst lip. The burst lip bottles were very cheap and quick to make. They were all hand blown into a two part mould. See the seam on there? A bubble blown above it and then just the bubble snapped off or burst. That's why they're called burst lips. But yeah, just cheap bottles. And this one has. Did you look this up? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> Has London and um, Bracknell, C.S. Bracknell on there, which reminds is... me of Lady Bracknell in The Importance of Being Earnest. <laughs> it's a sauce bottle, so we already know that because it's the shape of a sauce bottle, but I don't yeah. know what it would have been exactly. Maybe we'll put it on the screen. So, um, these I did a little bit of research on, and these are Holbrook and Co., and it could relate to that sauce bottle actually. Oh, yeah. Because. I got here. Holbrook and Co. Limited were and still are manufacturers of Worcestershire sauce. Um, it's spelt Worcestershire, but it's pronounced Worcestershire. Worcestershire. And it was the world's highest selling Worcestershire. Can't say it. Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce, and it still holds the majority of the market in Australia. Oh. So William Daniel Holbrook was appointed manager of the. A Manchester sales branch in 1874 and the company um, branded their products in his name because he did such a good job. Oh okay and it's interesting because these are both slightly different. One says Holbrook and Co and the other one says Holbrooks Limited. Yeah I think that one's later that's uh, probably an earlier one. Interesting. But yeah Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have Mins, which is also oh, quite mins. interesting. I've got something here. We've got a few of these down here, actually. A few Mins. Nope, that's an old brewery. So T and J Mins were at 63 to 65 Lowther Street in Carlisle. And they were mine. Mine? No. They weren't <laughs> mine and and were it spurchers. <laughs> mine and were it <laughs> <laughs> they oh were wine and spirit merchants and they were also associated with the wellington inn at 37 english street um, and here we have a photograph dating from about 1910 which shows the wellington 
with the T and J Min's um, advertisement on the railings above the entrance. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Interesting. Little, just the little histories of things. And there's another one here. Oh, is Graham? that? Oh, Graham's. Graham's. Um, so a little bit of it, not much um, information here, but uh, they had the Queen's Brewery in Carlisle, um, which has now got Sainsbury's Supermarket on top of where it used to be. The Sainsbury's is a very old supermarket um, well, company, isn't yeah. it? It's been going for coming on 200 years now, I think. Is it? I think so. Oh, we'll have to put that on the screen. Yeah, we'll have to put it on the screen. It's definitely over 100 years old, but we've got loads of other stopple-boppers, um, including Underwood um, ones, a few Underwood Carlisles, but they're all from Carlisle, so... Yeah, strangely. But we weren't that far from Carlisle. No, we weren't, so... Yeah. So, Makes is sense. that everything? I think we've got around everything. Oh, a bead. Oh, a bead. <laughs> and the bead I found just shattered because they often do... Because, yeah, they just, it was already cracked and it just, yeah, died. This one was being made in a two-part mould. It's not quite a Padre bead. No. It's not quite old enough, I don't it's think. It's pretty blue, though. It is, a lovely turquoise blue. But that, they'll go, that, so, that'll go nice. Oh, there's this little thing. Oh, yeah, that we found in the path. I can't believe it. I, I, I just knelt down I said, oh, I'll, I'll have a quick look on the path on the way back. And this was just, you're just lying there. Just I know, there, wasn't I know. it? Oh, I'm so happy to go it with pays my arm. To look in the path it on does. The way. Always look on the path, guys. No matter where you go. So I think all in all, we had a really successful day, we and we really enjoyed successful. it. We found some great stuff. I can't believe the the doll things we found, and the buttons, and the amount of of five stones. I, I know. The amount of knuckle bones and ears and lugs and pipes. And pipes. <laughs> yeah, it was very we'll very to go good back day. There. Yeah. Okay, so um, all there is to say now is thank you. A huge thank you to all of our subscribers. All of our patrons, because we couldn't do it without patrons, and we mean that. And all of the people who take the mm -hmm. time and trouble to comment. Yeah. And, and also the very generous people who have been buying us things um, from our Amazon wish list. Yes. Um, thank you so much. They are so, they've come in so useful and we yeah. really appreciate everything you've sent because we really do use them and they are helpful. Yes. So, just thank you to everyone and thank you for watching. Yeah, we'll see you again next Sunday. Next Sunday. Bye. Bye.